Thanks for checking out this show review video. This is for the 2020 show, The Deadlands. It is a Shudder original. Uh, when I'm putting this review up, it's not yet finished uh, because the Thursday the 5th is when they're, well, 5th of March is when they are dropping that final episode. I have seen all the episodes at this point, though, because Shudder has been kind enough to give me all the screeners for it. I didn't do episode-by-episode episode reviews because I figured it's just one story. I'd rather just see the whole story through and then give my opinion at the end. So this is that. Now I'm going to say up front, I'm a little conflicted on this because there's some things I really like about this and there are some things I really don't like about this. So as I talk about it, with no spoilers, there will not be spoilers, you can kind of formulate your own opinion on if you want to watch it or not. So... Uh, the writer for this one, Glenn Standring, did a movie called Deadlands in 2014, and it kind of looks like it's a similar thing, so I don't know if this is kind of like the TV show version of what he was putting together, but, you know, I don't know. The director, Peter Berger, did mainly TV episodes, that's mainly what I found for him on IMDb. Uh, the Maori, this is kind of focused on like a Maori culture from New Zealand, um, so I wanted to look into it a little bit and see like what Maori is. Uh, Maori are actually an indigenous Polynesian people of New Zealand who created their own culture through being kind of like an isolated culture. So they kind of had a lot, a lot of their own things. Now, for me, as an outsider, I don't know if it's, you know, the show is uh, faithful to Maori culture or how much of Maori culture actually seeps into the film. I know that Shudder's been kind of pushing this as a Maori horror show, and this is like a big deal because it's kind of like the first one. So I assume that there's a lot of cultural stuff kind of pulled in, but like I said, you know, as an outsider to that culture, like, I don't know for sure. Uh, how it plays out, it seems like it could be legitimate, but I don't know. So, a lot of I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of I don't know. Plus, apologies if I end up coughing or have to take a drink of water still fighting something so the intro music for this is really good uh the music is very well matched in this they have a lot of kind of like intense music there are some fight scenes in this actually a bunch of fight scenes throughout the show and the music like keeps the intensity up for the fight scenes i think it matches well uh it's a great mix of heavy tribal drums and orchestral dread at least in the beginning of it so the music is quite good it's it's well well done. The show looks looks extremely crisp. It has a great looking set. This is the thing about it. One of the things I love most about this show is it looks awesome. The directing is quite good. The cinematography looks outstanding. It just looks great. And the other thing is the environment, the sets where they're shooting is beautiful. It's gorgeous. And the cinematography and the directing just increases that. So even though, and I'll talk about it a little bit more, even though it is a little bit slow, or actually a lot a bit slow, uh, it, um, it looks great. And, and that's the thing. Like, are you a person who just really loves the environment, the ambiance in a, in a film? And if things are going slow, that's fine because you have a lot of nice, beautiful things to look at. Do you want to be immersed in that kind of uh, environment? I think visually, this does that. And that's the thing. Like, it looks, like I'm saying, it looks really good. Um really good. So from a technical standpoint, quite good. The backstory seems to move fast uh, and the entry point, but the entry point for the actual story I feel like is a little bit off. Now I feel like that gets, there's a reason for it at the very end, but when you first start the show, you're kind of like, why are we entering the story at this point? Like it seems a little odd. It seems a little off. Now, like I said, in the end, it, it makes more sense, but in the beginning, you're kind of like, Eh. but they, they move things along relatively quick in the beginning of it, and it kind of feels like, oh, you know, we're, we're hurrying up a little bit, but then it's a situation where we're kind of hurrying up real quick, and then we're slowing down a lot, and it's like, eh. so it feels uneven. I'm not sure how true any of this is to Maori culture, but it appears legitimate. It's like I was saying. Uh, the dialogue becomes kind of repetitive, and there are a bunch of things that are rehashed a lot in this. And it seems like that this should actually have been a lot less episodes, in my opinion. It is eight full episodes. It's a total of eight episodes. I I might be... Okay. I want to say you can cut it down to four. 
And that's how slow this ends up getting. And I don't mean just slow as in there's a lot of um, just taking their time with, with scenes and shots. I mean, there's a lot of repetitive dialogue. They rehash a lot of dialogue. They rehash a lot of things that have gone on multiple times. It feels super repetitive with a lot of this stuff. And it just feels slow. Like, the story stagnates many times, even though there is a pretty good story there. But it's just, I don't know, the pacing is so off with this show. And it's like I said, like, if, if you're huge into the visuals and you're okay with a, a show being really slow but looking amazing, then you probably will quite like this. Because, like I said, there is a good story there. It's just very slow to get this story out. The main characters bicker a lot, which actually sometimes is very charming, but at other times gets kind of annoying, and once again seems like one of those things they just keep rehashing, rehashing, rehashing. It gets repetitive because it's just constant, like, bickering back and forth, back and forth. Um, yeah, and that's how I felt about it. Like, at times I was like, oh, that's kind of funny, I kind of like this back and forth, and at other times I'm like, we're still doing this, and we're bickering the same way? Like, eh. it seems like the relationship doesn't develop the way maybe I wanted it to uh, between these main two characters. It's a it's a male lead and a female lead on a journey together. And I like, I like the characters individually, but together it's a mixed bag. Like I said, there are some moments where like together it's a great combo and other moments where it just gets kind of annoying. But eh. there are fighting scenes that are actually pretty solid in this. Uh, yeah, the choreography of the fight scenes are good. Um, I enjoyed that whenever you actually get to an action moment, which is more than you would think based on the pacing of it. Uh, it's it's pretty engaging. They did a, quite a good job of that. And not only did they do, do a good job with the choreography, but actually capturing it on screen because those types of things aren't super easy to do. And I felt like they did a good job with that. There's a pretty good explanation for why the main character's face looks the way it does. You will immediately understand the, the main male character. You will see that he's got a particular design carved into his face. And it looks cool. It looks really good. Um, and that's one of the things. The costuming and the makeup in this, quite good. Practical effects are pretty solid, too. Um, but I liked the explanation that they give in the final episode of why his face looks the way it does. That was pretty cool. Uh, and the ending had some pretty solid twists for me. I thought there were some solid twists in the end. It sets things up to be good. It does leave the possibility for a second season, which, you know, because I said I feel conflicted on this, I feel conflicted as to if I would watch a second season or not. I think I would give it a shot. I think I would start a second season, but if it seems like it's still super slow, I might abandon it. But if they kind of tighten it up for a second season, I would be very happy with that. Because I would like to see where the story's going. I feel like they left it in an interesting place. The music is really good, and the sound design is quite good as well. I already talked about the music a little bit, but the sound sound design's good. And it helps with off some of the off-screen kind of gruesome moments that happen in it. There are on-screen gruesome moments with some good gore and violence, but there's some off-screen ones. And the good sound design really helps with driving home what's going on without seeing it so good job on <coughs> good job on that uh i think the strongest acting in this overall the acting's actually pretty good there are a few people here and there where their acting's meh, but for the most part good acting uh the lead female i think does a solid job the lead male does a very good job i think he kind of steals the show and i think that's a combination of how his character's written, and how his acting is. But very engaging with the way <laughs> he does his acting. Uh, yeah, like I said, the show's slow. It's really slow at times, but the scenery is so beautiful. It looks so great. And, you know, being someone who doesn't see... New like, I've never been to New Zealand. I see it in shows and movies here and there. Um, it's always kind of awe-inspiring. It's just like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Um, in the beginning, at least, this film, or the show, seems like a veiled zombie apocalypse show. Like, it feels like a veiled zombie thing. That kind of changes a little bit as it goes on, but at least for the first few episodes, it felt that, that way to me. Then, as it goes on further, I feel like I saw a lot of inspiration taken for this from uh, Evil Dead, which is a good thing, because Evil Dead is 
phenomenal. So, um, I don't know if, if anyone, <laughs> excuse me, if anyone is watching this and has already seen the show or a portion of the show, do you think that it seems inspired by Evil Dead at times? Especially towards the end, like the last few episodes in particular, I felt like felt Evil Dead inspired. And like I said, that's a good thing. Um, this is kind of the age-old story of setting out to right the wrongs of older generations. It's not a super new story, but there's an interest, like there's a new twist to it. The whole culture I'm not aware of aspect is obviously a new twist to it. It's it's its own take, but it's a kind of old story that's been used before. It's also about redemption and kind of finding one's true self, um, not just for well for a few characters. Um, yeah, I'll just put it that way. It's not it's not just like one character on this one this journey of self discovery. There's you know a few characters that have that going on, and like I said, set up for a second season could be interesting. Now, this kind of leaves me. It's tough for for my rating at the end of this because it's it's hard for me to figure out how to weigh these things. Like the things that I love, like I said. The music's really good. The sound design's really good. It looks phenomenal. Cinematography, directing, overall, the acting is quite good. The costuming and, and practical effects and everything are quite good. So, but it's so slow. There's a decent story too, but it's so slow. And like I said, I feel like eight episodes could have easily been or should have easily been just four episodes. It seems like they really messed up by really stretching this thing. And it just, for me, became kind of painful at times to, to just get through it. Um, there's good stuff there. There's so much good stuff there, though. So out of five stars with half stars in play, I feel like i got to give it a two and a half at the moment just because I feel so conflicted on it. It puts me smack dab in the middle whether or not I would tell someone to watch this because of that. But if you watch this review, you should have enough information to kind of make your own mind up. Um, does this sound like something you want to watch? Hopefully yes, hopefully no, depending on who you are, if you have time or not. But, um, you know, I want to love it, but I can't say I love it. Uh, a season two, if they fix the pacing and they make it way more compact, put out less episodes, could be really awesome, especially where they left the story. Just saying. But thanks, Shudder, for sending me the screeners. I appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for watching this. Please do me a real quick favor. Hit that subscribe. I'm just doing these videos for for reaching out to the horror community and starting some conversations. So the best way you can thank me for anything you like that I do is just a thumbs up if you've already subscribed and a subscribe if you have not subscribed. The majority of people who watch my reviews have not subscribed to my channel, so it means a lot if you could take that quick second subscribe. Also hit the notification bell if you want to see all my reviews as they're coming out. That would be great. But let's talk about this, uh, the Deadlands, put some comments down there. And thanks for checking this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.